Hello friends, this video on motion in a plane part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 14 before going ahead with part 15. So when we talk of average acceleration, it is again the change of velocity with time, right? So we denote average acceleration, we say it is the ratio of change in velocity of a time, change in velocity of a body to the time taken. So please make a note, our acceleration always talks about change in velocity, right? So let us look at how do we calculate magnitude of average acceleration or how do we represent acceleration for that matter? So we can say that average acceleration also is denoted by a line over it. So average acceleration is nothing but the change in velocity by time taken. So how do we represent change in velocity? We saw in our previous slides that change in velocity would be, this velocity can be represented as Vx i cap plus Vy j cap. This divided by time taken. So we represent it as delta Vx by delta t i cap plus delta Vy by delta t j cap. So this is basically change in velocity along x axis by time taken. So this would be acceleration along x axis and this is change in velocity along y axis by time taken. So this is acceleration along y axis. So we can say that average acceleration can be represented as its value along x axis and y axis respectively. Right? So A can be represented as Ax i cap plus Ay j cap. Now when it comes to direction of average acceleration, the direction of average acceleration is the same as change in instantaneous velocity. So the change in velocity is the change in average is the direction for average acceleration. Now let us look at this graph. So if we look at this graph, we can say that let us suppose we consider we talk of two positions of the particle P1 and P2. Now what would be the direction of instantaneous velocity at P1? It would be, I just remember what, what did we talk about instantaneous velocity? It would be a tangent to this point. So this would be the value of direction of instantaneous velocity at this point. Similarly, this would be the instantaneous velocity at this point. So this is V1 and this is V2. Now what would be the direction of acceleration? Now use the knowledge of vectors which we gained in the previous slides, in the earlier slides rather. So if you see, this is V1 and if you see what is V2? This is V2. I have just drawn lines parallel to these two lines. I mean, I am just trying to put the head and tail method, head tail method, right? So this is V1 and this is V2. So what would be the resultant vector? The resultant vector would be delta V and the delta V would be in this direction. This would be the change in velocity. So when, we, when you want to, so this is change in velocity. So that means the change in velocity would be in this direction. Now the direction of change in velocity is the same as the direction of average acceleration. So the average acceleration would be in this direction. Please understand it once again. When I talk of direction of average acceleration, the average acceleration's direction is same as the direction of change in instantaneous velocity. Now how do you calculate the change in instantaneous velocity? First, you find out the direction of instantaneous velocity at the two points. So, this is instantaneous velocity at one point. This is instantaneous velocity of the other point. Now, we have to subtract these two vectors. So, here also we will apply the same head to tail method and the triangle law. So, we applied triangle law and we found that the change in velocity is in this direction. Right? So, therefore, the acceleration is also in this direction. So, that is how we determine the direction of average acceleration. Fine. So now we will go ahead and we will study instantaneous acceleration. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, 
try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.